Number 42. Rank the compounds in each of the following groups in order of increasing acidity or basicity as indicated and explain the order you assign. So in this case, letter C, we have to go based off of basicity and then they give us three different compounds here. So they give us MgOH2, SiOH4, and ClO3OH. And then they give us a little hint here. They say, hint, the formula could also be written as HClO4. Okay. So the first thing is I'm just going to list my parameters. We need to go, uh, you know, via increasing basicity. So if I'm going from an increasing basicity, that means I have to start with the least basic. And maybe I'll write this down here. So least basic to most basic. Now, sometimes doing a trend off of basicity is a little hard, right? It's always easier to think in terms of acidity and then just translate it to basicity. If you're the least basic, that basically means that you are the most acidic. So maybe I'll put that up here. So least basic means most acidic, if we wanted to think of the acid trend. And then most basic would mean least acidic. So once we have that figured out, I can rank these in terms of their acidity, and we would still get the same answer. So let's see. Now, what type of acids really are these? Well, I mean, if we, turn, if we think in terms of acidity, it seems like I have hydrogen, a random element, and oxygen. Remember, if we have hydrogens in the front, oxygens in the back, and some random element in the middle, chances are this is going to be an oxoacid. And all three of these have that kind of formula. Doesn't really matter that the hydrogen is in the front, the oxygen is in the back, and you have a random element in the middle. It just means that, you know, you have a hox hydrogen, oxygen, oxygen, hydrogen plus oxygen. Anyway, you have a hydrogen, you have an oxygen, and the element. So because of that, I could use my oxoacid trend. And my oxoacid trend means that if I'm doing it based off acidity, oxoacids will increase as you go from left to right across a period. So when you're figuring out where these elements go, you always look in the middle. You use that, or not the middle, but you look at that random element. So you don't look at the hydrogen or the oxygen. So in this case, I'll look where magnesium is, silicon, and chlorine. So magnesium looks like it's all the way over here, so I'll just say Mg. And then we have silicon, which is in the same period. And then we have chlorine, which is in the same period. And look there, it's just your acidity trend. As you go from left to right, you increase in acidity. So let's see. The least acidic would be magnesium, right? And the most acidic would be chlorine. Least acidic, most acidic. Least acidic would be magnesium, so I know that magnesium's got to go over here. Mg, OH2. The most acidic one is this guy. So I'll just write it as it was, ClO3, OH, and then we have silicon in the middle, SiOH4. Whoa, SiOH4. And then just put your greater than or less than. If we're just talking about it in terms of base now, least basic to most basic, we would say less than symbols, right? ClO3OH is a less base than SiOH4, which is a less base than MgOH2. And that is your final answer. Now, the reason being, whoa, hold on. That was a little messy. There we go. This looks a little better. Now, the reason being, because we have to explain the order, right? You could either talk about it in terms of the acidity, just like we said, but also acidity increases as you, you know, increase in your electronegativity. So if acidity increases as you go from left to right, that means that your basicity will decrease. So basicity for oxoacids, it's not binary acids. So basicity for oxoacids decrease. Um, 
hold on a minute, basicity for oxo acids decrease from, you know, left to right because your electronegativity increases. Electronegativity increases, and I, I, I'm sorry that this is a little sloppy, but that's basically another reason why. Remember, electronegativity, if you're increasing from left to right, you're more likely to want to become a negative charge. So there you go. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Okay, bye-bye.